Hello, everyone. Welcome to Enjoy Simple English. ナビゲーターの関根まりです。毎週月曜日は Discovering Local Japan。マーサとユウヤ、二人のレポーターが日本各地のホットな情報をお伝えします。今日は山形から美味しいハムのお話です。生ハムのことを表す Prosciutto という言葉が出てきます。早速聞いてみましょう。Hello, hello. I'm Yuya, and I'm here at a restaurant in Yamagata City. This restaurant is famous, especially among women, for its wonderful Italian food. Can you believe this restaurant serves around 60 different types of ham? They are all handmade by the chef. Let's meet the chef. Martha is with him. Everyone, let me introduce to you Chef Satake Tomoyuki. Hello. So, Chef, there is a really big fridge with a glass door here, and I see lots and lots of pieces of meat hanging down from its ceiling. How many are there? There are many different sizes, but I think maybe there are about 1,000 in total. Wow! And they were all made by you, right? Yes, I especially like to make prosciutto. Can you show me some? Of course. This type is called culatello, and it has a very nice smell, but it takes twice as long to make. You have to wait four years until you can eat it. And this white one is called lardo. This is made from pig fat, and we make it with spices and herbs. If you cut a thin slice and eat it with warm bread, it melts in your mouth. It sounds delicious. My stomach is making noises. <laughs> so, chef, why did you start making prosciutto? Well, I was shocked to see a farmer in Italy make prosciutto with just salt and pork. It was such a simple process, but time and the right ingredients made such delicious ham. Then you opened your restaurant here in your hometown, right? Yes, but it didn't go well at first. I had a difficult time making good prosciutto. What was the problem? I wasn't making the right shape. You have to make the meat as round as possible. This keeps it from going bad. After making a round shape, you put a net over it and keep it in a cool place for about two to four years. I see. Let's see what Yuya is doing. Yuya! Hello, hello! I am here at a special place. Chef Satake keeps his prosciuttos here. When you look closely, it looks like there is dust on them. What is that white powder? That's mold or kabi. Mold? Can you eat them when they have mold? That mold is important. It makes the meat dry and taste better. Also, it adds a nice smell. Wow! I am learning something new every day! You don't know what the prosciutto will taste like until years after it is made. It's a very deep and interesting world. I can't wait for years. I am going to eat this delicious looking prosciutto with wine now. Mmm, mm, mm. mm, yummy! Martha, save some for me! いかがでしたか皆さん、プロシュード、聞き取れましたか生ハムのことを、ラーハムとは言わないんですよね。生ハムを作るのに何年もかかるなんて知りませんでした。ストーリーの中で、カビを意味する、モールドという言葉が出てきましたが、生ハムってカビで美味しくするんですね。それではまた明日。See you tomorrow!
Hello everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English ナビゲーターの関根まりです。毎週火曜日はオリジナルのショートストーリーです。今日お届けするのは Not Fair ずるいです。早速聞いてみましょう。Are you eating a pudding? Can I try some? No, you cannot. This is a special pudding. What's special about it? Well, Sota kun was eating this pudding during a break at his last game. And you can only buy it from one small shop. That's why I ordered it online. Are you talking about a baseball player? No, Fujiwara Sota. He's one of the strongest shogi players in Japan. And he's really cute. You see, he looks serious during the game, but in the break, he eats sweets with a big smile. All the girls watching are wild about him. Hey, don't try to eat my pudding while I'm talking to you. Come on, not even a little? Definitely not. This store only sells 50 puddings a day, and you can only order one. I woke up at 8 o'clock, and I used both my phone and computer to buy this one pudding. Hey, you're too close to my pudding! You are not very nice. Talking about the pudding makes me want to eat it even more. If you want to eat a pudding, go buy one at the convenience store. <sighs> Then how about this? Let's decide with a game of shogi. If I win, I eat your pudding. And if I win? I will buy that pudding for you every morning for a week. <gasps> really? Yes, really. I hope you know what you are doing. I am a shogi otaku. I know. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Just as I thought. She plays like an amateur. She can't even hold the pieces right. Oh, and oh, look at what she just did. She's only thinking about offense. She needs to think about defense more. Checkmate. What? I said checkmate. Am I wrong? Uh, no, but. Uh, but. Wait a minute. Wait? Yes. I'm sorry, but I made a mistake. I'll do this instead. That's not fair. I wasn't thinking clearly and put my shogi piece on the wrong square. Fine. You can move your piece. Phew. That was close. I was about to lose. Calm down. Take a deep breath and focus. Checkmate. Huh? And I'm not giving you another chance. What's going on? Thank you for cheering for my brother. Your brother? Yeah. Sota is my little brother. I taught him how to play shogi. You're his big sister? A promise is a promise. Give that pudding to me right now. It isn't fair! Of course it is. You didn't tell me you were his sister! You didn't ask. Um. An earthquake! Oh, stop shaking the shogi board. You're like a child. I'm not giving you my pudding! いかがでしたかこのプリン、私も食べてみたくなりました。このストーリーでも出てきたオタクという言葉ですが、マンガーやウマミーのように英語の辞書に載っているんですよ。日本語がそのまま使われるなんてなんか嬉しいですね。さて、ホームページの NHK 語学、スマートフォン用の NHK 語学アプリでは放送をストリーミングで聞くことができます。また、スマートフォン用のアプリではストーリーの理解度をチェックするテストも用意しています。ぜひ活用してみてください。それではまた、See you tomorrow!
Hello everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English ナビゲーターの関根まりです。毎週水曜日は Amazing Stories 今日は Brain Man と呼ばれる特殊な能力を持った男性の話です。どんな能力なんでしょうか早速聞いてみましょう。Everyone knows that 2 times 4 equals 8. But what is 24 times 68? Can you calculate the answer without using a pencil? Daniel Tammet can. He can also learn a foreign language in just one week. He is sometimes called Brain Man because of the amazing things he can do. Today, We'll look at Daniel and his wonderful skills. Daniel was born in 1979 near London, England. He always loved to read and count things. From the age of four, he was able to do large calculations. For example, if you ask him the answer to 683, Times 947, he can tell you the answer right away. So, how does he do it? Daniel sees numbers differently. He says, Every number up to 10,000 has its own color, shape, and texture. Once, when he was asked to answer 53 times 131, he explained, 53 is round but large at the bottom. 131 looks like a long box. And the space in between them becomes the shape of the answer. 6,943. Daniel also has an amazing memory. Most people know the value of pi is 3.14. And some people can remember pi to four digits, 3.1415. But in 2004, Daniel said pi to 22,514 digits from memory. To memorize a long number like pi, Daniel said the numbers in his head create beautiful scenery. The numbers are colors and shapes. They create hills or ground or sky. It's another world that I'm able to go into. In addition to math, Daniel is gifted in learning languages. He says he knows more than 10 languages. And can learn to speak a new language very quickly. For a British documentary, Daniel took up the challenge to learn Icelandic in just one week and was successful. Icelandic is said to be one of the most difficult languages to learn. In his mid 20s, Daniel was told he had savant syndrome. People with this syndrome usually have super skills in math, music, or art, but cannot communicate well. Daniel has these super skills and can communicate. He can tell people about the things he sees in his head or the way he thinks. He has helped many scientists by letting them study his brain. Daniel now works as an author. Poet and translator. You don't often meet someone with amazing skills like Daniel. If you do, learning about them might make you see the world with new eyes. いかがでしたかこの特殊な能力を持つダニエル・タメットさん。ボランティアの英語教師としてリトアニアに滞在したとき、わずか2日間でリトアニア語を習得したそうです。Amazing! それではまた明日。See you tomorrow!
Hello everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English ナビゲーターの関根まりです。木曜日は、ラクーゴアンカメリスケッチュー。今日は、2021年度に放送した落語、馬やかじをお送りします。神結いのお先は、働かず、お酒ばかり飲んで暮らす夫と、いつも口喧嘩をしています。ある日、お先は、夫の愛情を確かめるために、あることを試します。早速、聞いてみましょう。In a small town, Osaki lives with her husband. She loves him very much, but there is a problem. So she goes to talk to an old friend. He knows her husband very well. My husband doesn't work. He drinks sake all day. The only money we have is from my job as a hairdresser. We are always fighting about this. <sighs> he's my best friend, but I told you he wasn't a good man to marry. I know, I know. Why don't you just leave him? You mean get a divorce? No way! I don't want to do that. He's not that bad. He's usually kind to me. I love my husband. But I don't know if he loves me. Well, there's something you can do to find out. What is it? Let me tell you two stories. Here's the first one. A long, long time ago, an old man lived with his servants and his favorite horse. One day, he went on a trip. While he was away, there was a fire. And his favorite horse died. Oh no! The servants were afraid to tell the old man about the horse. But when they told him, he didn't get angry. He just said, Is everyone all right? Ah, so the old man was a kind man. That's right. Now here's the other story. A young man lived with his wife. The man liked to collect antique bowls and plates. Oh, my husband likes them too. Well, one day, when the man's wife was carrying his favorite plate, she fell down the stairs. The plate broke. Oh, no! The wife thought her husband wouldn't be angry because he loved her. But she was wrong. He didn't ask if she was okay. He told her again and again that he was angry about the plate. That man was not nice. <laughs> well, if you want to know if your husband loves you or not, you can break his favorite plate. Ah, that's a good idea. If he asks if you are okay, Then you should stay married. If he gets angry, you should leave him. Okay, I'll try it. The next day, Osaki takes out her husband's favorite plate. Then she falls down.、Ah! The plate breaks into pieces. Her husband comes over to her and says, Osaki, are you okay? Oh, I broke your favorite plate, but you're asking if I'm okay. You're a kind man. <sighs> I'm so glad I married you. Of course, Osaki. If you're not okay, who will earn money to pay for my sake? What? I want a divorce! <laughs> いかがでしたかお先を気遣う夫の理由がそっちかいって感じでしたね。このストーリーの英語のタイトルは The Husband Test ですが、テストは失格ですね。それではまた明日。See you tomorrow!
Hello everyone! Welcome to Enjoy Simple English ナビゲーターの関根まりです。毎週金曜日は Masterpieces from Around the World 今日は The Phantom of the Opera の第2話1話ではオペラ座の怪人の要求を無視したその日シャンデリアが客席に落ちてしまったところで終わりました第2話ではいよいよ仮面舞踏会「マスクボール」が開かれますそれでは聞いてみましょう After the accident at the opera, nobody could find Christine. So I went to her home and talked with the lady who lived with her. I was so surprised when she told me Christine loved me. Could it really be true? Then suddenly, I received a letter from her. My dear Raoul, there will be a masked ball at the opera two days from now. Be there at midnight. Wear a white mask and make sure no one recognizes you. I went to the ball with my white mask. Everyone was dancing, drinking, and enjoying themselves. Soon, a woman wearing a black mask came to me and squeezed my fingertips. I asked, Is that you, Christine? But she only put a finger to her lips. I followed her as she kept looking back. She seemed to be scared of something or somebody. We suddenly went into a private box. Christine, we are running away from the Phantom, aren't we? Let me talk to him. No, if you love me, don't go. You are a liar. You care about the Phantom more than me. If you can't trust me, then it's over. Goodbye, Raoul. She left, and I went to look for the Phantom. Two hours later, I was in Christine's dressing room. I quickly hid myself when I heard Christine's footsteps. Then I was shocked to see her disappear into the mirror. A few days later, I saw Christine at the opera, and she took me up to the roof. Then she told me about the Phantom of the Opera. The voice of the angel, like the angel of music, spoke to me one day. He gave me singing lessons every day. Then on the night the chandelier fell, the angel took me away. Christine, that isn't an angel. It's the Phantom! His real name is Eric. Eric? Yes. He lives by himself in a house by the lake under the opera. Raoul, I saw it. What did you see? His face under his mask. It was too scary to describe. Don't worry. I am here with you. This gold ring on your finger. Did he give it to you? Yes. I promised I would go back, and he told me to wear it to show my promise to him. Do you love him? No. But if I break my promise, he will be very angry. I know he will do terrible things. We must escape. I will come for you tomorrow night at midnight. Let's leave this city together. We kissed. But we couldn't shake off the feeling that we were not alone. いかがでしたかクリスティーンが毎日歌のレッスンを受けていたのは Angel of Music 音楽の天使実はファントムだったんですねそして本名はエリックでしたマスクの下の素顔を見たクリスティーンは怯えていましたクリスティーンとラウルは逃げようと話していましたがこの後どうなるのでしょうか来週もお楽しみに See you next week!